What's up everybody? Welcome back to Darkwoods RC. We are back again with the Red Cat Ascent. We got uh, another big upgrade we want to do to it today. We're going to show you all the things we've done to it so far. We're going to take it out, we're going to run it, we're going to bring it back, make that big change, and run it through the exact same lines again and see if there is a noticeable difference. And our big upgrade that we're going to do is going to be the DSM off-road carbon fiber chassis kit. We're going to put this guy on today, try it out, see how it does. Right now, we're going to go over the things that we've done to it already and show you what we got. It's been turning out pretty good the way we have it. So we are hoping that the DSM is just going to put it over the top a little bit for us. Alright, so we're, here we have our Darkwoods RC Ascent. Uh, first off, got these ACP RC rims. Pretty heavy rims. We've got uh, Inchora two-stage foams inside the stock Red Cat tires. Then we will go up here to the Front portal axles, we've got trail inner and outer portal covers. We got the heavyweight outer covers with the big weights on them. Then we go to the rear and we have the inner heavyweights on the rear. Um, got our Hobby Wing Fusion SE 1800. And our newest upgrade would be the NSD RC mini servo winch. Got mounted right through the front end. We've just got a couple little eyelets on here. And then I did put it on a bungee since this is my first servo winch. Just a safety for me being operator. This thing's pretty quick, so I don't want to rip anything apart. So I put it bungee cord on here so I don't kill anything so we have uh, <clears throat> done a little bit to the stock shocks in the rear taking the inner springs out of here so we get a little more flex um, change the oil put uh, 30 weight oil in there which I do believe is what came in there from the factory but and I have not done that to the fronts the fronts still have the inner so we have less travel in the front more travel in the rear um, one other upgrade is this uh, 3D printed link riser right here. Can't tell you who made that. Uh, my friend Max gave it to me. And I have only put it in the lower holes. I'm still using the stock battery position. So I can't put it into the upper holes for the link yet. Um, because it hits the battery tray. So we'll put the body back on it. We'll take it out to the indoor course, we'll run it in the lines that we want, and then we're going to come right back, tear it all apart, put the DSM carbon fiber chassis kit on it, take it back out, and run the same lines, see what the differences are. Let's get to it. Alright, out on the indoor course, we're going to start our little test run here. It's going to be pretty similar to some of the comp courses we ran the last couple of months. Some of the good challenging lines in here.
All right, so we're going to try and stay as high as we can under this rock. to this steep downhill. Get a good shot of how she comes down. Now we're gonna go with this V-notch thing. See how she does. test spots for coming across these rocks. On the side hill in here with that hole right in the middle. Make it with the stock chassis. Let's see if maybe the DSM chassis can make it a little bit easier. Come over here to this spot. Another good side hill in line. And up there by that log. got another good test spot right here and this line earlier today let's roll this one more time do our DSM chassis spot So that's test one done. 
Let's go inside and do some wrenching. All right, we're back inside. We got our DSM kit out of the package. Got our instructions. Got all our parts and pieces. So let's go, let's get this thing on and then get out there and test it again. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything there we go just like that what your red cat ascent looks like once you remove the chassis. Big old pile of stuff. Now, put that on. Chassis is in, motors in, uh, links are all installed. A few more small details to work out here quick, and 
put the wheels back on, put all that back together, and we will get her out and run those lines again. Whatever they would like to be, we all feel the anxiety. We make our own rivalries. Yo, so when we saw the positivity, I feel like we all just hate on everything is killing me. Thoughts build quick, causing different possibilities. Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities. So do better, work hard under pressure. If you got no time, work smarter than ever. Don't ever let them tell you that you can't ever say never. And turn your mind into the truest to go getters. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yeah. What's up, Ethan? What's up, buddy? Okay. So we got the DSM chassis fully installed on the Red Cat Ascent. Go over a few things I did have to do to it with the way I set it up. Did do 99% of Rob's recommendations as far as setting up the chassis. We did move all the shock mount points to the link mounts, both front and rear. Like Rob said to do. It provides a little bushings to go in between the uh, the link mount itself there. Um, the only thing that I didn't do was Rob had you taking this little cross piece for the battery tray and putting it right in here. But that was going to interfere with me finally getting to utilize the full height of that link riser right there so I'm finally up in the top hole so that would have interfered with the links right up in here so I did not put that in uh, what I did was I put the original body mount back in but I just had to shave it down a lot so that it clears that guy worked out good I'll come up with another brace for in here make a link something that just threads in so we got a little bit more strength there but uh the motor is dropped down our skid is angled i did take my uh cut off wheel on the dremel and cut this guy right off on the battery side so i can fit a little bit bigger battery so uh, we will uh Put a body on it and we will throw it on our sky rc scale i did forget to do a before weight but i did weigh it just the other day and i got a screenshot of that on my phone so i will post that in the video you guys got any questions just let me know and hopefully i can answer your questions let's get a body on this and get her on the scale our body on the truck, our scale all set up, Let's get the truck on it. The other day when I weighed it, we were 55% to the front, 45% to the rear, 115.29 ounces, 7.2 pounds. Let's see what we are today. After our changes, we got her on all four scales good. It's looking good. What do we got today? Our front at 58%, rear of 42, 105.1. Ounces total, so we dropped a lot 10 ounces. I think that's quite a bit. All right, let's get her out and run her. 
All right, we have run the line with the ascent chassis. Now to see what the DSM chassis can do. See if we have improved. And then suspecting that we have. Let's see, I know we got some, probably some tweaking to still do. Sticking good. Definitely not having any issues yet. Seems to be a, a little bit more stable. It's definitely what we were looking for. We got one um, right over here to uh, one side hill. Get the side helm spot. Rear end is drooping out pretty good over there. Problem at all. So I drove right over that. <sighs> Come through this rock section again. Some on our side hill and down that log. See what we got. Springfield's a little more controlled. A more planted. Alright, here we 
we go with that last spot. And over the logs. time we'll be a little cleaner I don't think that's how we did it last time Definitely cleaner than the first time. So is the DSM chassis the ultimate upgrade for the Red Cat Ascent? Well, if it's not the ultimate. It's definitely a good one. I say we were good 10 to 15 percent better and we still got some tweaking to do <clears throat> just to get everything with the chassis dialed in. But she did great. I think it was an improvement. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you haven't, go check out these couple other videos that we've done on the Red Cat Ascent since we bought it stock, upgraded it, ran it against the Gen 7. Check them out. They're right here. Thanks. Hope to see you guys out on the trails again soon.